And the winner is Purcell's The Fairy Queen from Glyndebourne on Opus Arte. Here's a few words from Richard Lawrence. This is an absolute triumph. You've got this batty, late 17th century adaptation of A Midsummer Night's Dream with, as in the 1690s, a company of actors and a separate group of singers for Purcell's music. As usual with William Christie, the more or less authentic sounds coming from the pit aren't matched by what you see on the stage. Jonathan Kent, the director, starts with the court in full-bottomed wigs and then introduces the rude mechanicals as office cleaners. And by the time the lovers re-enter, you hardly notice that they're in modern dress. I'm not sure what Bottom the Weaver is doing in Athens, as he clearly comes from the Welsh Valleys, but Desmond Barrett and the other rustics are very touching in their naivety. The whole blending of speech, uh, singing, spectacle, is beautifully done. And uh, really, the whole thing is an absolute joy from start to finish, and I ought to add, the singing is first rate as well. Don't miss it. Now, we're delighted that the director of that award-winning production is here today, so please welcome Jonathan Kent. Thank you very much. This piece was a celebration. It was a celebration of 350 years of some of the most sublime music ever con composed in this country by Purcell. It was a celebration of 75 years of Glyndebourne, that astonishing ornament of, of British culture. It was a celebration of a particular and quintessential Englishness with all its absurdity and, and lyricism, uh, stretching from some of the, the sublime lyricism to, to Benny Hill. Uh, and all are encompassed within this piece. And uh, it was a celebration of, of a particular kind of, of opera which we've, we've sort of lost touch with, a, a semi-opera. Um, it could not have been done anywhere else except at Glyndebourne in this wholehearted and extraordinary way which accommodated 16 actors, eight dancers, a chorus of 20, eight or ten principal singers um, and endless sets. It was, a, it was a really remarkable achievement by Glyndebourne. Um, it was also extremely theatrical, which makes Francois uh, Roussillon and Opus Arte's capturing of it on, on, on film really remarkable. So I'm extremely grateful to, to them. So this is yet another cause for celebration. Thank you very much. Thank you.